Lou Reed. Misadventures in Manhattan. Written by the Princess Rarity. Narrated by Snowy Blue Reads. Featuring Songheart VA and Mimic Pony. Stupid Mondays should just throw him off a cliff. Event 1. Waking up. It's a popular saying and fact that Manhattan is the city that never sleeps. With what so many attractions and businesses, it cannot afford to do such a thing. Lights lit up the night sky, and when sunlight made its way across the horizon, it was equally bright. In the early hours, the only difference to tell between night and day would most likely be the sound of an alarm clock shrieking. Grace let out a loud groan as she reached over, attempting to crush the digital appliance with no such luck. Instead, the beeping only increased and she growled, reaching down and unplugging the clock. With a sigh at the relief of silence, she fumbled for her glasses and slid them on clumsily. She blinked rapidly for her eyes to adjust to the harsh light of waking up, and grimaced at the realization that today was Monday. Like any reasonable pony, Grace despised Mondays. Mondays were a fresh new beginning to a week. Mondays meant work. Mondays were full of chaos downtown. Mondays seemed to drag on forever. In short, Mondays sucked. The clock on the bedside table was stuck at reading 7 a.m. Grace contemplated if she could lay in bed for just a few more minutes. After all, she could be dressed and ready within two minutes and breakfast wasn't always that important. Then again, her grumbling stomach said otherwise. Okay, maybe breakfast was important. But still, 10 more minutes in bed wouldn't kill her, would it? She could still hail a cab and be to work on time, even if she slept in a little. Her golden eyes fluttered closed, and she was about to snuggle back under her comforter when a loud snore from across the room caused her to let out a frustrated sigh. Pulling the blanket over her face to block out the noise, Grace couldn't believe that she had slept with that annoyance. It seemed as if she had no choice but to get up now. I hate Mondays. Grace mumbled as she trudged out of her extremely comfortable bed and trucked across the cold hardwood floor that shocked her awake with every step she took. Stupid Mondays just throw themselves off a cliff. She entered the kitchen and flicked on the electric coffee pot letting the caffeinated beverage percolate while she slid into the nearby bathroom. Her face had creases from the position she had been sleeping in, while her mane was hanging limp and frazzled. Grace reached for a brush and began fussing with the tangles while she turned on the water. She placed the brush down and splashed her face, trying to feel refreshed, but it didn't work at all. Instead, she was just spitting out lukewarm water and feeling groggy. She snatched the washcloth and wiped the water off her glasses, realizing how stupid she was for leaving them on while washing her face. Mornings in general were terrible, actually. A knock on the door was heard, and Grace rolled her eyes. Coco! She yelled. Can you get up and answer the door? The only reply was another snore. Grace realized that for such a quiet, calm pony, her roommate was probably the loudest snorer in all of Equestria. Now, the doorbell went off. Coco, answer it! Grace yelled as she went back to brushing her mane. Instead of words, there were snores. Again. <sighs> Grace let out an exasperated sigh and threw her head back in frustration. She tossed the brush down onto the countertop and shuffled out of the bathroom. She sneered at the sight of Coco, splayed out on the sofa bed, and cuddled with her blankets, blissfully unaware to the fact that it was morning. Grace considered leaving her roommate there to sleep and miss work, but she wasn't cruel. Instead, she decided waking Coco up late, on purpose, would be far more entertaining. There was one last knock on the door before Grace swung it open. She recognized the pony standing there, but she couldn't recall the name at this moment. She yawned and rubbed her eyes. Um, yeah. She muttered. I was told this was the residence of Coco Pamel. Um, yeah. Grace mumbled. She lives here. A snore was heard. Can I take a message? Just tell her Rarity dropped these off. 
The pony said as she levitated a paper bag out of her saddlebags. I was hoping to talk to her before I leave the city today, but if she's, uh, busy... Oh no, not at all. In fact, I remember you now. Grace replied. Give me a minute. She took the bag and placed the parcel down onto the floor. Then, she climbed onto the sofa bed. Surprisingly, Coco didn't stir in the slightest, so drastic times definitely called for drastic measures. Grace picked up one of the closest pillows, lifted it, and inhaled a deep breath. Coco, wake up! She screamed as she began beating her roommate with the pillow. Your sexy boss is here! She'll fire your ass if you don't get out of bed! That obviously did the trick. Within seconds, Coco was wide awake and practically shaking. W what? She sputtered out, trying to block the pillow swats. Grace stiffened her lip, and her expression displayed the fact that she was trying so hard not to burst into hysterical laughter. It was almost hilarious how Coco's embarrassment was glowing as bright as a flashlight in a dark room. She, uh, Miss Rarity isn't my boss. She managed to sputter out. Well, you wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for her. So she's your boss, according to me. Grace retorted as she slapped Coco with the pillow one more time for good measure. <laughs> Coco laughed nervously and Grace waved a hoof. Ah, I get it. I'll leave you two crazy kids alone. She smirked. I'll be in the kitchen, watching TV, and eating cereal. She eyed the pony, Rarity, in the doorway and gave a wink. Call me sometime. I beg your pardon? Grace, please go away. Coco groaned as she fell back onto the bed. Salavi. Grace said with a mock sigh and a soft chuckle. Hey guys, it's Snowy. Um, I want to seriously thank you guys for listening and putting up with this long wait. I know you guys have been waiting for forever, and um, just 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 a lot of things came up and got in the way. But I'm just glad that I finally got the time to sit down and work on this, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm definitely gonna start working on the next chapter as soon as i can i got a lot more i got a lot more people working on this so hopefully it's gonna be better than the first one but um thank you guys again and i'll see you next time